Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon Power Cube. Now this is a brand new item that I bought from Walmart for $19.98. I was actually FaceTiming my girlfriend who was at Walmart at the time and she showed me the Pokemon card section, saw this item was in stock and she picked it up for me. Now this was $19.98 like I said and I actually didn't know the contents on the inside of this item. If I was to go to Walmart again, I would never purchase this item. And the reason I state this is because you really get three Dollar Tree packs inside of this cube. And Dollar Tree packs, of course, are a dollar a piece. So you're looking at three dollars worth of packs. You get 60 common cards. Yippee. They're worth about 10 cents a piece. And then you get three foil cards, which I'm sure you're probably not going to get anything good. But we'll take a look here. I know I'm usually more optimistic in my openings, but definitely not a fan of when consumers are ripped off like they are here. Of course, I don't help the fact that I go out and purchase this item, but we'll see what's on the inside here. So the plastic wrap is off. I can give you a little bit better view of the power cube. And these remind me of the mystery power boxes that are at Walmart. Had okay luck in those. At least you have a chance of getting a vintage pack. And there's a look at the bottom. And the way that you open it, it looks like you just pull it off like so. And inside, like I said, three Dollar Tree packs. These are mini packs, I believe they're called. I've opened up all of these packs on my channel in the past. I was actually able to pull a Tapu Lele GX Rainbow Rare from the Guardians Rising pack. Now it does look like two break cards and they are both Black Star promos, which they're worth about a dollar or two dollars a piece, which isn't bad, I guess. And then here's a stack of all the common cards. I don't know, it looks like there's an uncommon here, so I don't know what they consider common. So now that I've got everything cleared off the table here, the three foil cards on the inside would be Noctowl Break, Wobbuffet Break, and then Behem Break. All Black Star promo cards are worth about a dollar to two dollars a piece. So still not worth much value wise, but I do like that they are better than the Rare Hollow cards. And I'll go through the cards here. This is almost like a free cards by mail package opening. First up would be a Pokeball. This is from the Generation set. Clement. Shauna. So it's like I'm right in my Generations, my Mythical Pokemon Collection Box opening series. Bagon. Persian. Magmar. Now this is a base set card. Pretty cool. Wingo. Fletchling. Pidov. Electabuzz. Another base set. Now this is a rare, so it's definitely not a common card, but still not worth much. Voltorb. Gloom. First edition jungle. Swablu. Cloyster. That's from Fossil. I like the mix of sets here. Ninkata. Meowth. Another Ninkata. Ninjask. Pinsir, Roggenrola, Energy Switch, there's a Maintenance, Red card, and then a Poliwhirl. That's a Sun and Moon base set card there. And the second stack here, Zubat to start, Poplio, Toganamaru, Makuhita, Shelder, Boldor, Steeny, Poliwhirl, Morlull, Skarmory, Caterpie, Sandygast, Cosmog, Young Goose, Torkoal, Litten, Evo Soda, Pokemon Center Lady, Pokemon Fan Club, so a lot of Generations cards here, Patrat, Guardians Rising, Carvana, Cottony, Bellsprout, Panjam, Litwick, Slowpoke, Wishiwashi, Torkoal, Litten, Young Goose, Crocrock, Pelipper, Snubble, Zubat, Inke, and then Golbat. So a couple of cooler original series cards out of those cards, but not much overall. Then on to the three Dollar Tree packs now. So here we have a Hoopa Ancient Origins pack. And each pack comes with some type of promotional card. Card trick here would be just one and one. And you're not guaranteed a rare or anything in each pack. Magikarp to start. Flash Energy, which is a special energy card. And then a Ralts. Of course, I have a Gardevoir GX deck. 
I'll go Breakthrough next, and there's actually a lot of good cards for the competitive TCG in Breakthrough. I'll just toss that promotional card aside, and the pack here has a Hoot Hoot, Swine, and the final card would be a Cyndaquil. So 0 for 2 on the first two packs. Like I said, not expecting much from these packs, and again, really wouldn't recommend this product if you're going to Walmart. Final pack here, Guardians Rising. Would love to pull anything related to Tapu Lele or even get a Reverse Hollow in that final spot. Starts with a Tentacool. Choice Pan, which is a good item card. And the final card is a Trubbish. So a couple of good cards for the competitive TCG. But again, definitely not worth $20 in my opinion. You can see why really not much inside this cube. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.